Damn. Starting it off with no berserking. It doesn't get worse than this, really. But you know what would make it worse if I didn't show my talents? There we go. We're playing sub rogue for some reason. The reason being I hate outlaw. And I've played assassination too much. And I'm also taking, you know, subtlety rogue traits. So may as well use subtlety rogue when you have the traits for it. Did a battleground before this. It didn't do too bad. Um, sub seems like it's rewarding when you go on someone with, like, no fucking armor. But that seems to be one of the only circumstances where it's actually really good. Also, eviscerate damage. Uh, nothing to kind of ignore. We're just gonna smoke bomb this. There's two fucking casters. And then, for some reason, the Mistweaver walks into melee range. My favorite healer. I shadow stepped him for no reason. So I guess it evens out. This is where we fall apart as a rogue. We're here to get a good kidney shot, really, and I, I believe that's it. There we go, look at that. We did our job, guys. And he does that. Well, and we and we have no berserking on top of it. Feels bad, dude. I think I'm gonna abandon ship here. And go near our healer? Try and peel for our healer, maybe? I got unstealth for no reason, thanks. Don't, okay, there we go. Didn't didn't get aggroed for some reason, or didn't get attacked as I walk into melee range again. Save me. Let me shadow step. Holy shit, please. Not like this. Help me, healer. Why, why chase so far? Alright, whatever. We'll just be accepting of it then. Alright, here we go, boys. The future. Are they really turtling? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Is he prot? Ah, oh, he's fury. The good news is we can we can do something about that. Come here, tanky, tanky flag carrier guy. I'm gonna jump off the edge. I wonder if he'll glider. No way, he has glider. Or he'll just sit up there. Can I shadow step up there? Come here. Let me shadow step. There we go. You are fucking dead. Oh, I fucked up my rotation really bad there. Uh, shun, shun me in the fucking comments, please. That was really bad. That's okay, though. And we're getting greater pyro. It doesn't get better. Please. All right. And we cloaked that late, I believe. He is using a lot of cooldowns here, though. Get me that. Throw up Nightblade. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, health potion, I suppose, then. And restealth. Don't attack me. Just kidding. Really doesn't want me to get a restealth. Watch this eviscerate damage, though. 37,000, 37,000. It's fucking decent. But that's, like, the only redeeming thing about sub, I feel. And, of course, stun locking someone until they just don't want to play their class, really. Interrupt that. And shadowy duel. I don't take shadowy duel for battlegrounds because I find it to be very, very pointless for battlegrounds, but in arena... Oh my god. 700k health. The reason... Uh, in arenas, it's broken. I stutter my words when I'm in the presence of a warlock with the amount of health of a fucking tank. I don't know. Just can't process it. And that's with the demon armor health reduction that just came out, like, not too long ago. Burst. Damage. Oh, you're dead. And then it only gets better with corruption, so I can, like, and the trinkets that Peekaboo has. Those trinkets are god, god awful disgusting. Uh, I really want them. I really want them for the rogue, but. And I guess every other class. Like, it's a bunch of melees that can get those trinkets. Oh, that's a flag carrier. He can't get life gripped either. Dies too fast for me to get the full rotation off. I wish he lived just a tiny bit longer. Is the ret shitting on me? He is. That son of a gun. So we stunlock him. Drink it in, stun lock again, and then we shadow step away. And we'll vanish here. He'll just be discombobulated, and then we're gonna reopen on him. Right when he least expects it. Uh, okay, Hunter's on me. We'll health stone this. Am I, am I going to live? Of course not. And then the trinket that we were talking about just absolutely ravages me. Honestly, if you want to improve sub gameplay Blizzard, just give us five more shadow steps. Make it so we just have five shadow steps so our mobility's out the ass. I'd love that, but so would any other rogue, really. 
I feel like I'm just gonna get focused here, so we're gonna go on the Mistweaver. Hello, friend. Big damage here. You're gonna get deleted. Deleted. Stun lock. Boom. All the cooldowns ever. His health doesn't budge. Outstanding. And my marks for death is gone. What else do I have to live for? I'd say the worst part about... Or one, one of the bad parts about Rogue. At least sub -rogue specifically. Is when you march for death someone and you don't get the kill. You just feel starved of combo points. Because you, you use marked for death to like set up your burst a good bit. Because you want to get those eviscerates in Shadow Dance for a damage increase. God, I'm not going to chase that. You want it in Shadow Dance for the damage increase, and you use Marked for Death to set up like a 3 Eviscerate Shadow Dance, which is, again, a majority of your damage. I've been trying to like watch a lot of Peekaboo clips when he plays sub, and it seems like he just spams Cheap Shot because you have the ability to do that with a certain talent. And, you know, he just tries to Eviscerate as much as he can in Shadow Dance. It's Warrior, man. Why, why are you 1B? Why are you 1v10ing their team? I guess I'll save you. This is gonna cost me, like, everything, but... Never mind. No repercussions whatsoever. And we get Berserking. Dub City. Run. Run away. Rip. I'm so confused as to, like, what's happening. Oh, I guess we just have the... Flag? Yeah. Just gonna stun this guy over and over again so my team can catch up. And we go on the healer. Hey guys, look at look at this fresh healer over here. That's gonna be stun locked forever. Then I'll let get the mount, and then I stun immediately. Oh no, we caught on. Outstanding! And then we go on the healer. Big cooldowns by like everyone here, I'm guessing. Marked for death. Get that sweet eviscerate marked for death reset. Come on, man. There we go. I think we want to go on the mage instead. Fuck, dude. You do a lot of damage. That's not good. I guess we'll shadow step out of it. 51,000, 38,000. We cloak that. Oh, we cloaked it, but I still took the damage. Outstanding. Uh, we'll just run back in. Literally sprint back into the fight, even though we should stealth. <laughs> and of course, stealth comes off cooldown as soon as I reach the man. No marks for death here. Again, that marks for death. Kind of crucial in Shadow Dance. At least it buffs your damage quite a bit. What are you doing, healer? You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be standing there. Here's the marks for death damage, by the way. Don't do this destruction, Warlock. So we shadow step away before I get bursted. God damn. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Too much damage. Um, God, I guess we'll go back in. As long as I don't get dotted. So many ranged people, though. It's like, and then he gets death grip. Just fuck me, right? Then we stun lock this so he can't really heal, and then he just spams bubble anyway. Okay. I was gonna say, now we stun. I think we just run here, if we can. I don't have faint damage reduction, sadly. I could vanish, but that's about it. I know what we need to do. We need to just go grab another Berserking. Never mind. Battleground's gonna end, so... This is another point where I'm just like, what do I do as a rogue here? Because if I go in, I just die. But I'm a sub rogue, so I can stun people and like kind of shut people down, but as Infernal spawns directly on top of me. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, description, both link. Check out Twitch, check out Twitter, check out all the links in the description. And until next time, guys.